Hello patrons! I just thought I would uh, make a very short video because I was uh, just making the next video for this weekend <coughs> in actual fact two on this little K40 laser and um, I had a truck just pull up outside with a delivery and cutting a long story short over the last five six years that I've been running lasers as a teaching aid I have had so many people ask me about CO2 lasers and etching metal uh, it runs into the thousands um, so and I've also had lots of emails uh, from people who um, have wanted to engrave in metal and they've um, communicated with should we say uh, some Chinese um, manufacturers and of course they've said oh yes our 100 watt laser will 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 do what you want it'll do the job and of course uh, between eight and ten thousand dollars later when they get the laser you know to their premises and they try and uh, mark or cut with a hundred watt CL2 laser and of course it won't even scratch it and the manufacturers are not exactly telling a, an outright lie um, a CO2 laser is able to cut um, some metals but it needs to be at least 150 watts and you have to have pure oxygen at 100 psi being delivered and you have to have special lenses too so this, you know the standard setup just won't do it what they will do uh, you can uh, get um, sprays and uh, uh, like a paint with molybdenum, if I can say it right, molybdenum, in that you can uh, use to mark with a CO2 laser and then what happens is uh, it's sort of a ceramic um, microscopic ceramic beads and the CO2 laser will will um, you know sort of melt the ceramic part of it then to the metal but it doesn't etch the metal away so you can actually leave a mark on the metal artificially but molybdenum is very very expensive so anyway, long story short, I decided to do something about it um, and I suppose <laughs> move the channel in, not in a different direction, but uh, you know I've made oh, two CNC routers now and a mill and what have you and um, you know so half of my audience are laser enthusiasts um, so I thought well I'd do something for them and of course uh, the, the young folk coming up are asking me about CO2 lasers and what's the next step after the 3018 uh, little diode laser you know well this is the next step up but for people who want to mark and engrave metals, any metals, uh, gold, silver, um, titanium. <laughs> you know, a lot of knife makers use titanium, you know, and they want to sort of put their, their logo in into the blade and things like that. Well, CO2 laser won't even touch it. But, 
a 30 watt fiber laser wheel. So I dug deep and purchased a fiber laser, 30 watt fiber laser, which I'm going to start a new series on fiber lasers to show everybody look if you want to mark steel or any metals or plastics for that matter you know it'll do plastics um, nobody good at doing wood CO2 is better at wood but um, you know these things will will engrave a three-dimensional sort of coin if you want to you know in um, pretty quick order and it is perfect um, it'll mark anything <laughs> as it were uh, in steel it'll let you it'll cut it you you really don't buy this type of fiber laser for cutting things out although um, watch makers you know sort of uh, timepieces um, do actually use a fiber laser to cut the um, gear wheels out this would do it um, which I'll probably demonstrate at some t t you know some point but um, I thought I'd give you guys the heads up and it's it's actually the box is there and I'm dying to get it out but um, I, I did a little bit of a deal with um, with the company I bought it off um, and they, they actually sold it to me um, at a trader's price so you know I didn't oh the price isn't on there I didn't pay six and a half thousand dollars for it um, I, I got two thousand dollars knocked off um, but I had to pay the freight uh, from China and pay the import duty which you know was about um, I think it was twelve hundred dollars so it's, 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 it's nearly five and a half thousand dollars still. Five and a half thousand dollars, you know. I'm, uh... So it's something I've always wanted to, to dabble with. I've, I've operated and used um, four kilowatt machines, fiber lasers, uh, but I've never owned one. So this is my first one that I've owned. So, uh, but that is not the end of the road for 100 watt CO2 lasers because next year, um, what I'm I've also talked to this company as well who supplied the fiber laser. They also, um, they also manufacture and supply CO2 lasers. So, what I'm going to do, uh, I think is um, depending on you know how this goes if, if I find uh, you know I've done as much research as I can uh, to, to see all right who's the best manufacturer the something you know, I do know quite a lot about them like uh, there's um, there's three or four major manufacturers of the fiber laser unit itself and uh, the if you are ever thinking of purchasing one do not purchase a max brand uh, fiber laser they're the bottom of the barrel and they have not got a very good night name worldwide don't touch them um, the one I purchased has got a Rakus unit in um, That's a, a, another one. This actually isn't the one. It's just a picture I just uh, picked up off the internet. Um, JPT. Now that is a Mopa laser. Okay. The big thing about Mopa lasers, they, they say, oh, they'll do color and this, that, and the other. They'll, yeah, well, I'll teach you all about that. But. Uh, the laser I got is a, a standard fiber laser, industrial fiber laser, and um, 
30 watts, that's what I was coming to. It, uh, although, it's this is a 30 watt fiber laser, it actually produces about 24 kilowatts of laser peak power. That's how it can actually etch gold away if you want to, and aluminium, it'll, it'll put a hole straight through aluminium, you know. Um, it's um, it's really really high concentrated power and um, there's no head to, to move the beam it's all I'll explain it to you in the videos anyway um, do you know what I'll give you a sneak peek okay I'll just take the camera over and I'll just open the lid and just show you Basically, I'm, I'm actually doing, you know, this isn't all about uh, YouTube and making videos. This is something I've always wanted for myself. So I think this is, you know, to me, this is a little bit of a, a retirement package for me. So, uh, ooh. It's blue. Oh, there, look at that. Oh, there she is. I, I won't unpack it anymore. Oh, that's the Galvo head. And of course, it's on a big um, aluminium extruded. Ooh, lovely. I feel like a kid at Christmas, eh? So yeah, this is um, part of my personal retirement package, I think. Because um, I've always, you know, wanted one. And, uh, well, here it is. So. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Like I say, it's part of my... I, I regard it as part of my retirement package. Um, not that I'm retiring from YouTube. I mean, I, I I actually really like making videos and showing people stuff. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, so I, you know, I'm going to keep on going as long as I can. And uh, okay, guys, thank you for being there. I'll see you.